Welcome to Kate's Kitchen with Teens. I'm nutritionist and registered dietitian Jill Castle, and I am here with Blake and Blair, who are both here to help me make chicken enchiladas. So chicken enchiladas are one of the uh, favorite dishes of my own to make at home, but they're also a favorite item to order when you go out to eat to a Mexican restaurant. But, you know, we can make these at home and they're a lot more healthy, they're healthier, and they're also more nutritious. But what we're going to do first is we're going to actually poach our chicken. So if you ever want to make a chicken salad or you just want some shredded chicken to, you know, make a, a taco or something like that, poaching chicken is really, really a fast way to do it. So, Blair, to flavor our, you can poach in anything. You can poach in water, you can poach in chicken broth, you can cho uh, poach in white wine. We are actually, because we're making a Mexican dish, we are gonna poach in jalapeno peppers. So if you wanna go ahead and add those Blair to that water that's bubbling, and I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit. Because once the water comes to a bubble, we really just want it to simmer. So you can just pop that in there. Great. And then I'm just gonna, we have, you know, some nice big chicken breasts here. I'm just gonna cut them into a few chunks. Just, they will be easier to shred when we're all done. They will cook faster. And um, it's all about speed and efficiency. So, if you don't mind, Blake, popping those in the hot water. Yes, ma'am. While I chop these up. While our chicken is poaching, we're gonna actually make our filling. We'll add the chicken at the end. There we go. Blair, you can put some of that in and we'll wash our hands. Anytime you're working with poultry, we want to have clean hands before and clean hands afterwards. Okay, so our chicken is poaching. So you can see how it all starting to turn white a little bit. You can see we're not boiling the chicken, we're just poaching it. So poaching really means that that raw meat ends up just getting cooked by very hot water. Okay, so now let's get our filling started and the first step to our filling is we're going to saute onions. Okay, so here is our oil. We're going to heat up our oil first and then we'll add our onions and our peppers. So why don't you go ahead and add that and I'm going to turn the heat on here. Great, and there's a spoon there for you to kind of move those onions around so that they... Okay, Blake, Blake's taking over. He's going to saute those onions. And I'll put that there for you to add once those get going. Onions take five to 10 minutes to saute. You know that they're done when they turn uh, somewhat translucent and soft. Uh, they can be quite powerful as Blake is experiencing right now. The aroma and the uh, bite of onions can make your eyes water. That's what's, he's, uh, he's, he's got it under control now, but they are uh, a little overpowering sometimes. Okay, our onions are cooking up a storm and we're ready to add our yellow peppers. So, Blair's gonna add the peppers. And Blake's gonna continue to saute those and let those soften up a little bit. Meanwhile, um, I believe we're just gonna check our chicken. We know the poached chicken is done when it is somewhat firm when we push on it. We don't want the chicken to be raw. We want it to be cooked all the way through. What we need to do is prep our 9 by 13 inch casserole pan. We're going to uh, cook our enchiladas in this pan. So in order for nothing to stick on the bottom, we need to use some cooking spray. Okay, there you go. You want to spray that and make sure you get the sides too if you don't mind. We don't want anything to stick there. Okay, now we're going to add your black olives. Yeah. Okay, and stir those around a little bit. Then we're going to add, this is a container of salsa. This will uh, bind all of our filling ingredients together and give it a little bit of heat. Okay, so add all of that in there and mix it all up. Let's check on these, see what we're doing here. Yeah, this just needs a little bit more time, I think. Once we heat that through, We'll add our cream cheese and a little bit of cheese and we'll let that melt. We're gonna take a break right now and let our chicken cool down so we can shred it. 
Okay, we have just finished up poaching our chicken, and Blair is going to finish shredding the chicken. You can see here how great it looks. So just take that piece of chicken, and you're just gonna pull it apart with your hands. It's really nice to have shredded chicken in this uh, recipe, and there's a lot of it. You can see three chicken breasts makes a lot of chicken. We're also, while she's doing that, Blake is going to put this brick of cream cheese into our sauce. And we're gonna let that just melt into all that goodiness. Yep, just lay it in there. And we're gonna add about a cup of uh, cheese. Stir that up, Blake. That's about a cup. And we want all that to melt together. Right. We're gonna add this uh, shredded chicken as well. So we will have a creamy, tomatoey chicken, peppery, oniony filling to go inside of our enchiladas. Okay, ready for some chicken? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is really, and I, I left a little bit of the uh, jalapeno peppers in the chicken, just for more flavor. So we basically want to coat, get that chicken all worked in to our filling. And I'm going to turn our heat down because we just want to pull, pull it all together. We're going to bake it off and it'll get all nice and, and hot. Okay, that's perfect. So we have this, you can see that, yummy goodness. I'm just going to do a quick mix here. So you can see the cream cheese and the tomatoes and the cheese. And that chicken is melted in. What do you think? Looking pretty good, huh? Very good. Yeah. So what we're going to do is make our enchiladas now. So you're going to take one tortilla and we're going to take a scoop of our filling, maybe a little bit more, just because we want it to be nice and loaded. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna roll it like that, okay? And we're gonna put it on our casserole dish seam side down, okay? That way they don't open up. Now, um, one of the things I thought we could also just kind of talk about is this whole idea. You guys are both athletes, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and so a lot of times athletes will hear uh, that they need to bulk up to be successful as an athlete. They need to, uh, and bulking up oftentimes means gain, gaining muscle when um, for some kids it's not just gaining muscle, they actually need to gain weight because they might be underweight. This uh, type of meal is great for the athlete who needs to gain weight or doesn't need to gain weight. It's full of chicken and cheese and cream cheese, uh, full of nutrition, and uh, can certainly be a help to uh, letting somebody gain some weight. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's see if you can squeeze that in. Great. All right, so Blair, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our enchilada sauce Let's move this, and we're going to cover, we're going to just smother those enchiladas in sauce. So once you just cover that, try to, try to cover all the, yeah, you're doing great. Cover all the uh, tortillas. And then we'll take the rest of our cheese and we're just going to sprinkle all over the top. Both of you guys can do that. That's great. These are going to be so mm, yummy. And these are going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. If you think about it, the chicken's already cooked, the filling's already cooked, right? So we're really just warming these up. We want to see them bubble and we want to see that cheese melted. So we're going to do that right now. That was so good. <laughs> To learn more about Kate's Kitchen, go to AdvantageForParents.com. To learn more about Southwestern Advantage, go to SouthwesternAdvantage.com. Hey everybody, welcome to Kate's Kitchen with Kids. I'm Kate Wright. And I'm Haley Price. Today we're doing something kind of special. It's actually what I call water that's better than water. You know, most kids, their beverage consumption, and even adults, you know, is, you know, fruit juices and sports drinks and sodas. You know, very few kids drink seven, eight glasses of water per day like they're actually supposed and to. And water is so important, especially while kids are growing. It's good for your skin, it's good for your digestive system. 
So we've and got to get enough of it. I've had so many doctors and pediatricians say that when kids are dehydrated, meaning they don't drink enough true water per day, it contributes to so many health issues that mm -hmm. it's not, it may not be so obvious to a parent, but there's a lot of stuff going on inside when kids aren't fully hydrated. Um, so one great tip and why this is better than just regular water is we are going to flavor a whole jug of water with natural fruit. Now there's a million different ways you can modify this. You can cut up cucumbers and make cucumber and mint water, just peel off mint leaves and throw them with cucumbers. Um, Haley and I stayed at a hotel a few weeks ago and in the lobby they had a big jug of water like this and they had cut a watermelon in there. And it was so delicious. Um, I've seen it done with berries, with raspberries and blackberries. So in order to get started, Haley, we, we, we need, we're missing something. I think we need a couple kids in the kitchen. All right. Woohoo! Come Step on, on up. Conley, you're over here. And Liam, you're right here. This is your station. What you guys are gonna do is cut big orange chunks, okay? So I'm gonna start just to kind of show you Actually, you know what? Let me show you the, the, the width of these. Just cut up the ends. You don't really need the ends. But do you see how about how thick that is? It's not too thick, not too thin. It's just yes. like that. Mm -hmm. Just be careful not to catch your finger with the knife. So Haley, if you want to help Liam out over there. Sure. And just make sure he's... There you go, Conley. Okay, so we'll throw this part out. We don't need that. Just be real careful. Watch your fingers. There and you that go. That one's going to cut up. Once you have a few, you can actually throw them in the water. Okay. I can do them a little bit thicker, it's fine. Toss it in, there you go. Ooh. Nice. Try it. And there you have your beautiful Sweet. orange water. Super healthy, better than even regular water, and much, much better than sugary fruit juices, sodas, or even sports drinks. To learn more about Kate's Kitchen, go to AdvantageForParents.com. To learn more about Southwestern Advantage, go to southwesternadvantage.com. Welcome to Kate's Kitchen with Teens. I'm Jill Castle, registered dietitian and childhood nutrition expert. And I'm here today with Avery and Cole, who are both football quarterbacks and who are going to help me today make Mamma Mia's spaghetti sauce and sausages. And we are going to get that going in the blender. Super simple, it's a homemade spaghetti sauce. Very easy to make and absolutely delicious. So the first thing though I wanna talk about is we're gonna use garlic. You're actually gonna take the head of garlic, you're gonna break it open like so, and you're gonna pull out a clove, okay? okay? The easiest way to prepare a um, other than having a mincer or an automatic tool that already does it for you, is to take the flat side of a knife and lay it up against the garlic clove and pound it like that. And then you can just chop it up to mince it. So to assemble the sauce, we're just gonna put everything um, in the blender. So very carefully, um, Cole, if you wouldn't mind pouring the whole tomatoes into the blender, Awesome. Okay, and then this is a 15 ounce can of just regular tomato sauce. Go ahead and add that. Realizing if he splashes, it's going all yes. over me. <laughs> okay, and then we have three tablespoons of sugar. That cuts the acidity. We have parsley, oregano, and basil, dried herbs. Put those in. And we have a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. And that just helps to thicken the sauce and give it some flavor. So we're gonna push this, put this on the blender, and we always wanna make sure our lid is very secure. So we're just gonna put it on blend, okay? I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes, for a few seconds. Okay, so we've made our sauce, and now what we need to do is we need to heat it up on a low setting on the stove so all those flavors blend together and um, get really nice and yummy. Uh, pour this in and we're just gonna let it sit on the stove on low heat. You can see it's very um, thick and uh, we aren't gonna cover it on the stove. We're going to leave it uncovered so some of the liquid burns off and it actually thickens even more. Okay, so we've made our sauce. 
Um, and now we're going to bake our sausages. These are Italian sweet sausages. So what we want to do is we want to take each sausage and just line it up on a cookie sheet. And we're going to throw them in the oven at 350 degrees. They will take about uh, 40 minutes. We'll want to midway turn them over so that they brown evenly on both sides. Once these are done, we're going to actually take a couple of sausages and we're going to throw them in the sauce so that the sauce has a nice flavoring of the sausage. Avery, you want to go ahead and pop those sure. in the oven? That's perfect. We're back! And we are going to pull our sausages out of the oven. They're all ready. We're going to add them. I want you to take two sausages and okay. add it to the sauce. Cool. And again, we're just flavoring the sauce. Look at these. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous sausages. So, we're going to flavor the sauce, uh, which has been boiling here on the stove. All the flavors have been melding together. Just pop two of those in there. Make it a little easier on you. Perfect. So that'll just give our sauce a little bit of flavoring. We'll give it a little twirl here. Okay. So we've cooked our sausages. Uh, we've baked them for about 40 minutes. They've, they look beautiful. I tend to serve these whole with a little bit of sauce on top. Um, so we're just going to plate this and arrange it. This is whole grain pasta. Mm -hmm. That's great. Perfect. Let's take um, the rest of these sausages and kind of just put those around uh, the spaghetti. Okay. And you can slice these sausages up into little circles or serve them um, as a whole like, I'm, like we're doing right now. And then we have, our, uh, we have our sauce over here. It's all ready to go. What, this is uh, wonderful carbohydrate rich and protein rich and rich in nutrients because we've got a nice, wonderful tomato sauce. And you can see, we're just plating this up. And we even have one little guy in here we'll put out too, these sausages. Here we are, Mama Mia's spaghetti sauce and sausages over whole grain pasta. To learn more about Kate's Kitchen, go to AdvantageForParents.com. To learn more about Southwestern Advantage, go to SouthwesternAdvantage.com. Hey everybody, welcome to Kate's Kitchen with Kids. I'm Kate Wright. I'm Haley Price. And today we are doing something so exciting. These are power veggie muffins. Ooh, that sounds Talk so about good. about a way to start your day or um, any time of day, really. Just snacks, healthier snacks for the kids. Totally. Um, this kind of requires all your typical baking ingredients, but the key to this um, recipe, look at all these awesome veggies and fruits we're using. We're using zucchini, pears, apples, and carrots. We also need a little bit of applesauce and also some plain yogurt. So those oh. are our kind of trick ingredients to throw in some healthy flair here. So That is awesome. Well, let's get started. All right. Do we need some help in here? We're going to need some help. We can't do this all by ourselves. Let's get some kids in the kitchen. Well, here we've got some whole wheat flour. We have some regular flour. Uh, we have some baking soda, some salt, nutmeg, and cinnamon. And we're going to combine all of those. Doesn't that sound good? Oh, do you want to help me? Finally, over here, we're going to combine the butter. Oh, you can throw that in. Nice <laughs> and the sugar. Okay, now this one. And we're going to crack <laughs> two of these eggs. Okay, this one. Wait, wait. That's okay, we'll wash your hands, no problem. Good. Woo! Now can you stir that up for me? Get them all together. Yeah, get down in there. Okay, so Conley and I are going to blend the uh, butter, sugar, and eggs together. So honey, do you want to help me out here? Okay, ready? You want to help me out? You can hold it. Woo! All right. Let's set that aside. We'll need that in a little bit. Uh, what about our vanilla extract? Does that need to go in? Uh, that actually does go in there. Yeah, let me put our vanilla extract in. Oh, can I pour that in? Mmm, this is smelling good already. Mm, yummy. Let's get that nice and blended up. So now we're going to puree all the vegetables and fruit. 
But can each of y'all grab just whatever and throw it in the food processor? Let's see if I can kind of break that. Okay, so now we got to put the applesauce in. Mm. Need a spoon to kind of scoop that out. And the apple juice. Bodie, can you pour the apple juice in when Conley's done? Not Wait till she hands. <laughs> Good. Pour that in. Yummy. Okay. Let's put the top on. We're still rolling. Okay. Okay. Ready, guys? Go. Woo! Yummy. So, guys, now we're gonna do two and a half cups of the puree in here. So let's just hold it over there. Puree. Veggie puree. <laughs> oh. One cup, okay. throw that in. <laughs> One. Okay. Two. Now let's get our half cup. And a half. There you go. All right. Look at and Bodhi, can you grab the yogurt and throw that in? Yum. Can y'all stir, stir that up really nice and good? Okay, that's what happens when you're baking, huh? Okay, good. Now, let's add in the dry ingredients little by Bodie, little. can you help me with this? Just shake by spoonful. There we go. Keep stirring. There you go. Now it's not yellow. Come on. Dump it all in. Okay, so let me get some muscle in there to get that stirred All right, and guys, while your mom's doing that, you can help me with this. So I'm gonna stir this up really nice and good. So guys, if y'all can put the muffin cups in the muffin pan. I know you'll be good at this job. I think well, you've you done it before. Those those. Good idea. Mmm, this smells so good. Mmm. Everybody get a big, huge spoon. Let me get some spoons out of here. I guess I Bodhi has a spoon. And guys, this is where we gotta concentrate because this can get really messy. We don't wanna hang on, buddy. We don't wanna get any stuff on the on the on the pan so it can burn. So just get a nice heaping spoonful and try to put it in the cup without making too much of a mess. There you go. Good, Good job, Bodhi. So you're gonna bake these on 375 for 20 minutes for regular size muffins or on 350 if you have many. Muffin. So let's get these little suckers in the oven because I am dying to try oh, these little me things. Me too. Can't wait. All right. It's been 20 minutes. Let's check those muffins. Check on these ready. muffins. Oh, Ooh, they yummy. smell awesome. I smell a lot of cinnamon. Yeah. I can smell that. It almost smells like a carrot cake would smell. Mm. All right. I think since we had a lot of help putting these together, we can't just eat these all that would be on our own. <laughs> Actually, let's, let's do eat these all on our own and <laughs> just forget the kids. <laughs> Well, let's get the kids Get's back in the kitchen! Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. To learn more about Kate's Kitchen, go to AdvantageForParents.com. To learn more about Southwestern Advantage, go to SouthwesternAdvantage.com. Welcome to Kate's Kitchen. I'm registered dietitian and childhood nutrition expert Jill Castle and I am here today with Hannah and with Matthew and they are going to help me make some homemade chicken noodle soup. Now we're kind of doing it the shortcut way. Great for busy moms, great for teens, great for anyone who doesn't have three hours to spend boiling down that chicken carcass and creating a bone broth and then starting from scratch. Now, that is a wonderful way to do it, but that's not my reality in my life. So I've created a very quick uh, homemade chicken noodle soup. So Matthew is gonna get us started. We've got a little bit of olive oil, which he's gonna pop in our Dutch oven here. And we are going to saute some onions and some celery. Hannah is gonna chop up these little carrots now, you can use just regular carrots. You want to peel them and chop them up. But we're, we're just, again, shortcuts. We are using these fine sticks that you could just 
take a bite out of right now. And I almost could. I'm hungry for a carrot. So we get that stirred up. We're gonna pop in the celery too that's already chopped. Again, this just builds so much flavor in the dish. And that's what we're really after is flavor. I'm gonna pop in, we've got a little basil here and a little, uh, sometimes when you know, don't know, you just, you snip it. And I believe this is oregano. So we have a little basil and oregano. We're gonna add to our pan because when we put the spices in now, it brings out the flavor and the natural oils. The reason we cook those raw vegetables um, sooner rather than later is we do want to try to soften them up just a little bit because we don't want to boil them with our broth. So when those are nice and sauteed, oh wow, that looks just gorgeous. How are you think those onions need just a couple more minutes? Now what we want to do is we want to add our chicken broth mm -hmm. and we're going to add a, go ahead and do that Hannah, we're going to add a little um, chicken bouillon cube just to even enhance the flavor more. You can do this step or you can leave it out. I like a really strong chicken broth flavor and um, commercialized chicken broth doesn't always give me the kind of pow that I want to have. So either a bouillon cube or you can do um, a teaspoon or two of chicken powders. So we're gonna pop that in and it'll just melt on down in the broth. We have a, uh, probably about two cups of shredded chicken here. You could just uh, poach or microwave a chicken breast or two and shred it. You could use the leftover chicken from a meal that you might have had earlier if you roasted a chicken and use that um, chicken off of the bone there. Mm -hmm. But essentially, you want to have about two cups of chicken, which we're going to add now. We're ready for this? Okay, we'll try not to splash on you. Add that chicken. Now that looks delicious. We've popped our noodles in there so our soup is all put together. Now all we have to do is put the lid on and let it simmer for a little bit for about 20 minutes and we'll have a nice chicken noodle soup. We'll be right back. So go ahead and serve yourself up some. Now this is really loaded with chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Let me get you some spoons. Now this will be hot, but mm, it is looking very good and smelling even better. Just make sure you blow on them. Mm. So hot. <laughs> it's very good though. <laughs> Oh, the chicken. I know. So good. To learn more about Kate's Kitchen, go to AdvantageForParents.com. To learn more about Southwestern Advantage, go to SouthwesternAdvantage.com. AdvantageForParents.com is the only parenting website in the world with hundreds of articles written by doctors and professionals, as well as video interviews with parenting experts, role-playing and educational videos, and our very own groundbreaking cooking show, Kate's Kitchen with Kids. Kate's Kitchen has over 100 recipes teaching kids and teenagers how to be confident in the kitchen. Our team of experts include money expert and best-selling author Dave Ramsey and his daughter Rachel Cruz, author and parenting coach Kate Wright, New York Times best-selling author Rory Vaden, child psychologist Dr. Patricia Nan Anderson, award-winning pediatric nutritionist Jill Castle, licensed clinical social worker and parenting coach Katie Malinsky, and the former nutritionist for NBC's hit TV show The Biggest Loser, Cheryl Forberg. Advantage for Parents addresses important parenting topics from toddlers to teenagers and even has coaching on life topics such as money management, diet and health, career development and marriage just for you. Think you already have all the answers to parenting? We'll take our unique parenting quizzes and find out. Advantage for Parents. Real help for the most important job in the world. To learn more about Southwestern Advantage, go to southwesternadvantage.com.